Hi, this is Tom Vineski with Times Leader Outdoors. I'm here with George Bowers. We're out on Harvey's Lake, and George is founder of Fishing for a Cause, a nonprofit fishing organization in the area. Uh, today, we're going to demonstrate our second technique for for bass fishing. It's uh, uh, Senko worms, and you're going to demonstrate that technique also in a, uh, a way jackal to use flick worm. Jackal flick worm. I'm not familiar with that one. George is going to show us how to do that. Uh, before you get started, why don't you show us what, how you're geared up to do these techniques? Okay. First thing again, got about a six-foot Loomis rod I'm using here with a Shimano Stratic reel. On this one here, I have eight-pound test uh, monofilament. Uh, my best brand I like is Suffix, and uh, I have right now is a four-inch Cinco. This is a pearl with uh, white fleck in it. And the first uh, way we're going to show how to set it up is it's called a wacky rig. And basically, all we do we have a a size one hook, short shank, a mosquito hook. All we're going to do is stick the hook right through the worm. Just like that. Pretty simple. Pretty simple technique, and it's even simpler to fish. All we do with this again, if we're fishing weed pockets, um, you can fish docks, uh, rocks, anything you wanted to with this. Basically, all you're doing is throwing that out. Keeping your barrel open so that your Cinco actually drops straight down through the grass or the worm. But what you're doing is you're watching your line. As it's sinking, uh, most of the time the fish will grab that. If nothing takes it, what we'll do is, again, lift the rod tip all the way up, reel down, and watch your line again. I usually count to five or seven seconds. Nothing. Lift up reel back in. Watching your line, you'll see the line either tick or it'll start moving to left or the right. So that's the Cinco fish in wacky style. Another way we fish it is weedless for in the weeds too is basically bring the hook through the top of the Cinco, bring it back out, run it up your line, Then insert, you could use an offset hook with that too, um, if you want. A lot of times we just go like that. Again, now we're going to fish it weedless. Again, with this here, take your lure, throw it out into the weeds. Again, same thing, watching your lure go straight down to the bottom through the weeds, watching your line that it's not moving or it doesn't get a tap on it. Again, reel it in, let it go back down. Now you're weedless. Now you're not getting no weeds uh, tangled with. The wacky style when you're fishing in the weed beds, you'll get a lot of weeds with, with, with your, uh, when you bring your lure back. Again, it's all about technique too. Sometimes they maybe want it to be pulled fast through the weeds. Sometimes they might want a setting in the weeds that you maybe have to count to 20 seconds when you throw out to get to the bottom. Another technique we're gonna to show today is, this is called, this is a jackal flick worm. This is a six inch flick worm here. This hook is a, a hook that's made for uh, the flick worm. It has a weight on top of it. And again, it's a, it's a size one hook with the weight attached to it, especially made for the jackal worm. Again, we take it, we hook it through the center. And again, when this is going down, as this is going down, the tails on this will flutter. If you can see it fluttering now, that's how it'll be going down through the water and that would cause the fish to uh, eat it. Same technique as they're wacky almost. Throw it out. Now you gotta watch, because now it's gonna go down faster because now there's a piece of lead on it there too. A little bit different with this is, when we get down to the bottom with it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake our rod tip. We're gonna shake it about four inch shakes, four or five times, nothing. We'll reel up, lift the rod up, let it go back down, reel some slack in. Once it gets back down to the bottom, then we're gonna shake that rod tip again. And all that's doing is bouncing that on the water, making a little bit of vibration with that worm that attracts the fish uh, for that. This again is a good bait. It's a good bait for children to fish. Kids fish it um, because it catches fish. 
that's why we uh, recommend it for some children to use. So looking back last week at the uh, rubber worm technique you showed us in the, the two techniques today, it's a traditional form of bass fishing. It's really becoming a little bit specialized too. Yes, it's a, this is a special technique that's only been out a few years now. Um, it's a, basically a spin-off of the Cinco worm, but it's uh, with a little bit more action. Um, like I said, this is a jackal uh, flick worm. A lot of the local tackle stores have them. Yet another way to fish a rubber worm. Thanks, George.